Hi subscribers, what's up? It's me, Vivs from Slider here. In this video, I'm going to talk about JavaScript data types, type of, undefined, and null. Type of is not a data type; it's just an operator. But then we will be talking about it in this video as well. In the previous videos, I was talking about variables and scope. If you guys haven't seen those videos, please check them because this is a mere continuation of what I've been doing so far on my playlist. So first, let's talk about the data types. There are five simple data types in JavaScript. There is undefined, there is null, there is boolean, there is number, and there is string. Other than that, there is one complex data type, which is object, which is nothing but a collection of other simple types. Starting with this video, going up to the other videos, we are going to discuss each and every one of them in detail and figure out what we can do with them. So let's begin with the first operator. This is not a data type; it's an operator called type of. Let's talk about what this operator does. The type of operator provides information about the type of data contained inside a variable. In other words, using the type of operator on a value returns one of the following strings. Let's take a look at that. Let's take an example over here. Where text is what's up, and you have a question mark. Now, if you notice carefully, there's a double quote. There is some word here, and then there's a double quote. Now, this is what is called a string in JavaScript. If you print alert and if you say type of space text over here, then it's gonna give you a string over here indicating the type of this data that was contained inside the variable text. You can also pass a value over here directly. You can say something like alert type of 95. Either pass a variable like text or pass a value like 95. Now 95 is a number and that's what it returns over here. So what are the different values that type of operator returns? It returns the following values. There is undefined. There is boolean. If the value is boolean, there is number. There is object. There is function. And one important thing. Well, forget the important thing first. Now, all of these we have discussed about uh, type. We have discussed actually about string and nothing else and number. Now we'll be talking about what is a boolean, what is an object, what is a function in the upcoming videos as we go on. And then you guys will understand exactly what the type of operator returns. But for now, remember, either put type of space, the name of a variable whose values type you want to obtain, or put type of space and put the value whose data type you want to obtain. Now, if you say type of space null, it returns an object. Now remember, if you talk about some number, like say age, you know very well that age of a person starts at zero. Of course, the day the person is born, it's considered zero, and one year later, you celebrate the first birthday. So a number begins from zero and goes on to whatever number you want, like age or whatever. Now, if you talk about something else, like say an object, now we will be talking about what an object is. An object may have some meaningful value. If it has no value, then it is supposed to have a value null. Now that's recommended idea. So when you say type of space null, you're supposed the alert the type of operator returns object as the specified value. And we will be talking about this in the upcoming videos when we discuss what is an object and talk about all the object oriented stuff. If you don't understand things right now, just bear with me and go on. So here there's undefined type. This is the first data type that we want to discuss. The undefined type or undefined value, as it is called, it has just one value, which is undefined. Now, when a variable is declared using the where keyword, but it's not initialized, it's assigned the value of undefined. Let's take an example. You say where test semicolon. Here, you're simply telling your RAM that I have a variable test. Now, you have not told what value you want to store inside this variable test. Now, this is when it is assigned a value of undefined. In other words, if you test for this value. Now I have written alert, then there is a parenthesis opening and closing inside that I have written test equals equals undefined. In other words, I have said something like this, get the value of test, check if that value is equal to undefined. If yes, return true, else return false. That's what this comparison does. Either you can compare two variables with each other with the equals equals operator or you can compare a variable on the left side and a value on the right side with your equals equals operator in between. If both are same or if both contain the same values, it returns true. Otherwise, it returns false. So further digging, let's take a different approach at this. Let's say where test equals undefined. Now this time I've actually given a value. 
if I say alert message equals equals undefined again it's gonna get the value contained inside your message oops it should be test over here by mistake I've written message over here it should be test equals equals undefined so that's gonna give you true over here the variable test or message or whatever is explicitly initialized over here to be undefined by default if it's uninitialized or if you have not given any value to it the value is undefined but you should never explicitly do it this way you're not supposed to do that and there's a reason because undefined exists to differentiate between an empty object and an uninitialized variable now remember this statement I'll be talking about it right in this video in an upcoming slide so only one operation can be performed in an undeclared variable you can call the type of on it whose value is undefined so further moving on to undefined type now the type of operator returns undefined when called on an uninitialized variable in other words if you say where test and semicolon and if you call type of space test that's gonna give you undefined but also it returns undefined if you call it on an undeclared variable let me show you what I mean take an example over here there's where message semicolon this is declared but it has a value undefined and then I put a comment over here and I have written where age which means there is no variable called age that has been declared inside your code now if you say alert type of space message it's gonna give you undefined but if you say alert type of space age now notice age has not been declared anywhere in the code the JavaScript interpreter does not know that there is a variable called age still it returns undefined over here so uh, even though uninitialized variables are automatically assigned a value of undefined it is always best that you give some value to a variable now the idea behind it is something like this if you give some value to a variable and if you call type of on that variable it will never give you undefined but if your type of is giving undefined and you're sure that you have given values to all the variables in your code it means that somewhere in your code there is a variable which is not declared because like we said in the previous case if you guys remember our vari variable age is not declared here yet the type of return undefined and that's the one way you can use undefined to make your code bug free so let's go further talk about the null type now null is another type which is again a special value called null over here null means an empty object pointer in other words when we talk about your age you were zero years old the day you were born and then today when you're sitting at your computer or laptop or mobile or watching this you're definitely somewhat older 18 20 25 35 whatever but when you talk about your age it's a number it starts at zero and it goes on to some number like 25 35 whatever now when you talk about an object now we will be talking about what is an object in the upcoming videos now remember that object they have certain meaningful values and when they don't have any meaningful values they have a null value that's what a null is supposed to be for it's a special value indicating that an object is empty that's why it's called an empty object pointer now we'll be talking about this in more detail when we start talking about object oriented JavaScript so let's say there's a variable say person and say where person equals null it means that person does not contain any meaningful value and that's what this null actually means now if you say alert type of null that is type of space null it's gonna give you an object which we discussed just a bit earlier in our slides when we talked about the type of operator now we will be discussing what is an object exactly as we go further so let's dig a little deeper into the null type now when defining a variable that is gonna hold some object values later it is better that you give that variable a null value as opposed to anything else now you can check for the value of null to determine if the variable contains something meaningful or does it contain null like if and say if the variable let's say car is not equals to null it means it contains some meaningful data if the car equals equals null it means the value contained inside car is null which means it's a useless piece of information that we have and thereby we can do something with that so we will be talking about the object stuff in a lot more detail as we go further now there is one very important thing the null and the undefined if you guys notice they are 
somewhat similar and you guys definitely wondered I hope in the last two slides when we talked about undefined it was also a kind of meaningless value and when we talked about null it is also another kind of meaningless value although they are different and we're gonna see what is the difference between them but remember this when null equals equals undefined if you try to compare it it's always gonna return true because logically like I said both are just two separate values for indicating that your variable contains meaningless information so difference between null and undefined is something like this never initialize a variable with undefined because the purpose of undefined that you guys should be using in your code is to check if you have any variable which is undeclared or you did not declare it and you directly called it However, always initialize a variable with null if it has no meaningful value and if it is supposed to contain an object type of data. I will be talking about what an object type of data is, but then if it has no value, give it a null value. That's the way you start with. So type of null, like you saw, is gonna return object. So in this video, I did talk about the type of operator. I talked about the undefined type and the null type and I'm sure you guys found it a little bit confusing as to what exactly is going on but don't fret in the next video I'm gonna take examples of these things and I'm gonna show you guys in WebStorm exactly what you need to understand about the null the undefined and how you can play with those things in JavaScript in the meantime if you guys do like what you saw please like this video share this video subscribe to slide nerd and let us know your thoughts in the comment boxes below Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Have a nice day.